I don't know if you're a Knicks fan. I know you have a Knicks jersey. I do. Have you seen these yet? Refreshing that it's not a pair of Yeezys. Oh, hey, Pete. I'd be stoked with pair of Yeezys. Yo, those are cool. Yeah. They're kind of like the, uh, what are they called? The Katrinas? Do you go know the red and white ones? Just, yeah, that kind of reminds me of that. Or the true blues, you know what I mean? But it's orange. Yeah, no one really wants to buy them because the Knicks suck, so. <laughs> They'd go with my jersey. Guys, we are back with another video today, and for once, it's, it's actually really nice outside. I mean, we've been having some bad weather in Winnipeg. It's been really starting to feel like fall, but it is finally looking nice outside. So thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. You are my favorite people on earth. If you haven't joined the real family yet, all you guys gotta do is hit that subscribe button and give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter. And if you feel real, make sure to hit that like button. So the plan for today, Day. It's still Saturday and this morning we picked up the Jordan 3 Knicks which we took a look at in yesterday's video but today there is some crazy market sneaker show pop-up shop department store takeover I, I don't really know what's happening but I'm going with Eric to it I got free tickets so I need to go check it out I've, I have no idea like I really I'm gonna go there and then try and figure out what it is This is like some huge streetwear. There's a few sneakers. Actually, there's a lot of sneakers in here. Market on the fourth floor of this old ass department store downtown that was built in like the 1800s. I don't actually know if it was built in the 1800s. We're going to say it was built in the 1800s and the fourth floor is vacant because no one shops here anymore because no one shops downtown because Winnipeg downtown sucks. I'm getting off track. I love downtown Winnipeg, sort of. I mean, I live here. I don't really know why I live here. There's a bunch of vendors, is what I'm trying to say on the fourth floor. It looks cool. Let's check them out. Ooh, look at all the shoes. We have LA to Chicago's. What size are these? Nine and a half. I cannot fit those. A thousand dollars. Oh my goodness, the price went up so much on these. Look at all the off-whites. 97s, high products, 90s, Travis Scott's. I forgot the name of those for a second. Union LA's. I don't know how I did that. I own them. And then here I am wearing the same bummy Jordan ones every day next to Andy. Do you disapprove of my footwear choice? Uh, I think you need to switch it up. He thinks I need to switch it up. Oh my goodness, I completely missed these. The Tom Sachs moon boots. I've never seen these in my life before. They're heavy. They're so strange. My friend Zach wants these and likes them for some reason. Not exactly my cup of tea. Oh my goodness, I don't know why people like these. I mean, the originals are, the originals are amazing. These, not so much. These are such tiny sizes, so I'm sort of screwed here, but uh, they have these, which are amazing, and I sold mine, and I sort of regret it. They have these, which I just bought a new pair of, which are also amazing, and then they have the Air Max 90s in the, I don't even remember what the colorway is, but they're tan and orange, and then these, which I really wish were in men's sizes, because like, how freaking cool would this be if these were in men's sizes? So, what'd you think of it? That was cool, man. It was cool. Yeah. I mean, I got my ticket for free, so thank you. They had chicken and waffles. They had chicken and waffles. They had beer. Uh, there's a couple Nas teas. I'm a big fan of the Supreme Nas tea. I can just never find one in an event. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. The event's like a block away from Livestock, and Livestock released pink LeBrons. You guys know how I feel about pink shoes. And the hideous Yeezy boots. Eric, have you seen the new Yeezys yet? I actually like the new Yeezys. So you're telling me out of every single pair of Yeezys that's released, you hate all of them. Except these? Uh, they don't look as good in person. They don't. They, they look really, really nice on feet though. They really don't look as good in person. I don't know, it's a substantial shoe. You know what, no, yeah, I, I, I'd rock these. You'd I, rock these? I'd rock the hell out of these. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Out of all the Yeezys, he hates the 350s, he hates the 500s, he hates the 700s, he probably, do you hate the Calabasas too? All this shit, he chooses these. And I like some of the Wave Runners, like one or two of the colorways, but for the most part, uh, Yeezy can take a hike. Should we tell him that Wave Runner is a colorway? This is what I'm way more excited about than the Yeezy 500 boots that aren't really Yeezy 500s. They look, it's weird, it's an Adidas boot, but it looks like the Yeezy Supply boots, the Yeezy Kanye, whatever his name is, he used to put them out. These LeBron, John Elliott, these are pink. I love these. They're also $330 plus tax, which I'm not crazy about, so I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not buying these for $330 plus tax in Canada. But these things are like, I mean, sick. It's, it's a pink LeBron, John Elliott, full air bubble on the bottom, so it's gonna be crazy comfortable. It's a see-through upper, just like the Element React 87, so you can see whatever color sock you're wearing underneath. These are really cool. Nice shade of pink, it's not too crazy, but it's not too dull, like somewhere right in the middle. I honestly really like these. Okay, yeah, um, I, I did. I bought the I bought the Yeezys. I think they felt bad for me, so they gave Eric and I free t-shirts. Which is, which is, the, I mean, thank you Livestock. They just gave us free t-shirts, which is very nice, and I appreciate it. I still don't know why I bought these, and I think Eric's mad because I'm wasting his time. What? So this is the shirt that Livestock gave me. Thank you, Livestock. It's ridiculously wrinkled right now. It's not just a plain white shirt. There's like a cool green graphic on the back that, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is the graphic on the back, so thank you. They just hooked it up with a free shirt, which was very nice indeed. Now let's take a look at these shoes. The amount of controversy on this pair of shoes that I've seen online. People are calling them trash. People are calling them extremely fashionable. I am somewhere in the middle buying these now, having them in hand, throwing them on feet. I will mention they look very good on feet. I. I've softened my opinion of them, let's just say, because I used to think these things were trash and I've sort of changed my mind a little bit on them. They are so heavy. Let's get that off the, off the bat right away. Like these things are pretty much the same weight as a Timberland boot, which makes sense because I mean this is a boot, but the midsole is like substantial. This is like solid rubber. It is thick, heavy rubber. The midsole is huge. The materials used on this are all very luxury premium materials and it is very similar to a regular Yeezy 500. I mean, you have the same paneling, you have the same toe box, you have the same gaps to have this cloth poking out. So it is very similar to the regular Yeezy 500. Obviously they completely changed the bottom, gave it that big heavy boot traction and uh, they made it a high top boot instead of a low top sneaker. Now, me personally, I'm still going with the Yeezy 500 over these any day of the week, but me living in Canada, we have the climate that we do and you know, hoping to spend a lot of time in New York this winter as well. This is something that's really gonna come in handy when it's snowing and it's disgusting outside and I just want like a big, thick, comfy, warm boot to wear. This is gonna be a great bet. I mean, I do have Timberlands, which is always gonna be the number one go-to, but if I wanna switch it up and wear something that has a little bit of a different style, this is a great option. The box is also very cool. Now on boxes from Yeezys, we're just used to seeing the number. We've seen the 700s, I guess, the 750s didn't have a number, just a gray box. Then the 350 V2 says 350, 500 says 500. These, it just says desert boot, which I think stands for desert boot, if I had to guess, which is very cool. I do like this design choice on the box. I'm a huge fan of that. But uh, I mean, it's, it's a box, we've seen this. It says Yeezy Desert Boot by Adidas, all that good stuff. I went to a size 13 in these. Important note, these do fit snug. If you're ordering them online and you don't have a chance to buy them in store, I would recommend go up one size just in case. Worst case scenario, you can wear some thick socks or something. I mean, it is a boot, so you're probably wearing them in winter but they fit snug. I'm a size 12 in basically all shoes. I got a size 13 in this pair. I opted to go with this khaki or tan colorway over the chocolate brown and over the gray colorway just because I think this is the most wearable. It goes with the most clothes. The chocolate brown was a close second. And honestly, I didn't plan on picking these up today. This was a complete impulse buy. I saw them and I was like, you know what? 
I want to give these a try first off because I'm curious second off because I know a lot of you guys are probably curious about this shoe as well. So I will be wearing these over the coming months hopefully and hopefully I will be letting you guys know what I think of them if they're worth the money. That's another huge note. Props to Adidas. I know they probably knew these wouldn't be hyped up and I know they probably knew these wouldn't be a bestseller in terms of the Yeezy line, but they still could have jacked up the price. The regular Yeezy 500 is 200 bucks, isn't it? I think the regular Yeezy 500 is $200 and they kept the price of these steady at $200, which I'm super thankful for. Adidas, you did the right thing. Thank you for keeping the price the same. They could have easily put it up to 250, even 300, honestly, because it does feel like more of a premium lifestyle shoe than some of the other just like, you know, throw around sneakers that they put out there. It does feel like a quality product, but they kept the price the same. I am a huge fan of these, and I'm really glad that Adidas did what they did with them and didn't do some other stuff. They didn't cheap out on materials, they didn't jack up the price. They put out some good colorways of a new Yeezy model. I mean, not technically completely new, but we've never seen this from Adidas before and I'm overall pretty happy with them. I thought they were hideous and my mind has been quickly changed as soon as I threw them on feet. So I'd recommend you guys throw them on feet. Let me know what you think of them. Hit me down in the comment section below with uh, if you picked them up, if you didn't pick them up, and if you're still watching at this point in the video, comment Yeezy boots are fire. So I know that you're part of the real family that sticks around to the end of the video and watches every single day. That being said, I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Shout out to Livestock for the shirt. Shout out to Surplus Market for that cool little shirt that they put on that we checked out. That being said, I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.